Hi, this is Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and today I'm going to talk about the caliper measuring table from Razor Gauge. Uh, the, the caliper measuring table is used for measuring parts. We don't usually put it next to a saw or any kind of a process. It's just used for measuring parts after they've been cut. So it's like a big set of calipers. And what it's intended for is to be a handy way to measure long parts without spending a lot of money. Uh, you know, if you have a four-foot pair of calip set of calipers, it's unruly to manage and measure parts that way. And yet, not all of us can go out and buy a CMM with a granite table and all that. So the caliper measuring table is meant to be a cost-effective way to measure long parts accurately uh, and quickly. So I'm going to explain a little bit about what it is. Um, basically, it's our AT style extrusion, which has the table incorporated into it, um, and a movable carriage with a linear encoder. We, have, we are using our Fujitsu tablet PC, and it does all the display and has all the setup and that kind of thing. So uh, the construction of the caliper table, we use a the same linear bearing that we use in our other products. This is a recirculating ball bearing, um, virtually no slop in it at all. This is the kind of thing you'll see on CNC machining centers and the like. In addition to the linear encoder, we use a, uh, or the linear bearing, we use a linear encoder with a reader head like this. Um, it uses a magnetic tape. It's a non-contact device. There's an air gap between the, uh, it actually goes this way, the reader head and the tape, so it never touches. Very accurate. Um, and uh, it doesn't wear out because there is no contact. Um, so that's really all there is in here, and then we convert that encoder signal to uh, talk to the PC. So the way it works is when you start up the software, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is zero the, uh, the table. So you put it against the stop, and you press zero the scale. Now this one was already so I'm going to move it out and press zero. So now when I move it against the stop, it's way off. So I'll press zero again. And we've zeroed the caliper table. So then if you, when you want to measure parts, you just put the part in and measure it. Now, um, we've added a few features to this. Uh, when you measure a part, you can capture that measure it, measurement and save it. Now when the software opens up, it defaults to a uh, file called default.csv. So when you start up the software, the measurements are automatically going to be saved in this file, default.csv. Now if you want to save it somewhere else, you push create a new log file and tell the software what file you want to save it in. I'm going to save it in, uh, I'm just going to leave it at default for right now. So then as you take measurements and press capture position, uh, it, it captures the current position, displays it on the screen, and immediately displays it or saves it in the default.csv file. And if we had saved it as a, if we had created a new log file, it would be saving it in that file. So if I go to uh, that file here, default, and open it in Word Notepad, you can see it has saved all the measurements that I've taken every time I start up the machine in this comma-separated format. Now if I create a new one, if I create a new log file, and we'll just uh, do this test two here, so it, when I did that, it cleared out all the current uh, saved positions or measurements and started, and now, as you may not be able to read this on the video, but it's saying that the log file is now this test2.csv. So if I capture a position, I'll just capture several here, and then I go and open that test2, there are positions in it. Now, I already had test two open, so it's saved a few more in there. But you get the idea of how we save, capture these positions in a file. 
Um, now, uh, the other features of the software are the setup. Now, in the setup screen, basically it gives you the ability to change the scale factor. That is the number of counts per inch on the encoder. So if you measure a long part and it's a little bit off, the, the, the uh, caliper table is a little bit off, you would adjust the scale factor to bring that in. And it's something you'd do initially, maybe once a year, once every six months. Um, the other thing uh, it does is the setup screen shows you all the communication between the uh, card and the PC and sometimes that's useful for diagnosing problems. And that, other than the fact that you can zero the encoder from the setup screen as well, that's really all there is to the setup screen. So uh, you can see we can change it from inches to millimeters. We can clear the, uh, the capture screen and uh, that's really uh, all there is to the caliper table software. Now, um, if you would like to have calculations, charts, graphs, standard deviation, CPK, if you'd like those calculations to be done on here as well, we can do that on a custom basis. We have a you know, fully functional Windows 7 PC here, so we can program it to do about anything you'd like it to do uh, with those measurements. So give us a call and uh, let us know if you're interested in the caliper table. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your attention and have a great day.